If you are new to our channel, welcome. If you are a returning guest, we are happy to have you back. We do videos on a wide variety of things, but today we want to take you along as we do a day in the life to some surrounding attractions near where we live in the Central Valley of California. Today our first stop will be Moaning Caverns. It is the largest single cave chamber in California. Located near Vallecito, California, it is in the heart of the state's gold country. It is developed in marble and was discovered in modern times by gold miners in 1851. The spiral chamber tour leads visitors on a tour into the marble deposit of the Calaveras Formation over 165 feet before funneling into smaller passageways. We toured the cavern's main chamber by walking and climbing the narrow wooden staircase to a flat platform 65 feet underground. And then, for the truly athletic and adventurous, from there, there is a 10-story spiral staircase that leads down to a second platform at the base of the chamber. say I wasn't prepared for quite so many stairs and by the time we reached the bottom my legs were throbbing but the kids did so well even little Adelaide at three years old who took the stairs like a champ with a little help from daddy of course As much as I was unprepared for the intense leg workout, I was also unprepared for the sheer awe of this magnificent cave. Fun family memories we will never forget. did have to climb back up all of those stairs to get out. Enjoying a lovely picnic outside at the caverns, we took the beautiful scenic drive about 20 minutes to Columbia, California. It was founded as a boom town in 1850 when gold was found during the California Gold Rush and was known as the Gem of the Southern Mines. The town's historic central district is within the Columbia State Historic Park which preserves the 19th century mining town legacy. The U.S. Historic District is a National Historic Landmark and is on the National Register of Historic Places. It's also one of our favorite places. Yes. 
what was called the Wells Fargo office. Wells Fargo mailed everything, they shipped everything, and they bought your gold. So if you had gold to sell, Wells Fargo would buy it. And that's why like in all the old movies, you see the stagecoaches that say Wells Fargo, and everybody was holding up the stagecoaches, because there was a gold shipment on that. The, no, this was also part of Wells Fargo, but this was the uh, stage group. Historic inns, restaurants, a working blacksmith, old fashioned bowling alley, and shops supplied with treats and trinkets add to the ambience of this old mining town. Hot back there. Up on the shelf. Can you see this? Right, the red suit right here. Oh, yeah. And then there's a big old crop. One of the kids' favorites is the candy shop, of course, where you can find just about any kind of old-fashioned candy you can think of. Maybe so. Yes, we will get a candy. We have to see which ones we want. Which one did you decide on? The chocolate almond bar? This one? <laughs> oh. Yummy chocolate. Let me have one. Okay, we're going to come back after we walk through some more of the town, okay? Look at these candy molds. How cute. Look at these handmade doll clothes, just adorable. this little house right here. So cute. Just in case there was any question about getting enough exercise today, we climbed the little hill up to the old-fashioned schoolhouse. So this is the loo. Evidently, you can sit here and visit with your friend while you did your business. And here is the schoolhouse. California's first two-story brick schoolhouse stands alone on a gentle hill atop of School Street. It was built in 1860 and later restored in 1960. The neat thing about it was that most of the funds were raised by school children all across California who pitched in to help save the old school. When the school originally opened, it held 368 students, two teachers, 
in one principle. Can you imagine? This is where they have them buried, yeah. I'm gonna look at some of the dates on them, if we can read them. Ooh, these are so old, I can't even see a date. Come here, Mama. See a date on there? 18. A king. It was a king? Yeah. 1892, it looks like. More than one side saw. Here's another one. You want to go to the rocks now? Okay. Where did that go in the next room? Oh, boots. Hey, Mama. Mommy. Why? Look at the carpets. They're just like ours. Yeah. I've never been in this one. No. As the mother of a cowboy family, I loved all of these boots. But this pair that was not particularly as cowgirlish caught my eye because I am probably the least likely cowgirl of all. Just a minute. Okay, what song is it? Hinky Doodle. Hinky Doodle? No day would be complete without coffee, so I stepped into this coffee and ice cream shop and got a lavender latte. After looking at a few more of the old homes and purchasing some loose leaf tea from the tea house there, we headed over to the neighboring town of Jamestown for some delicious Mexican food on our way home. Thank you for joining us for a sneak peek into our California history. See you next time.